He is known for being a Russian-language Soviet writer. He described his experiences in German-occupied Kiev during World War II in his internationally acclaimed novel Bobby Yar, a document in the form of a novel. His name is Anatoly Vasilievich Kuznetsov. In the annals of literary history, one name stands out, Anatoly Vasilievich Kuznetsov, a Russian-language Soviet writer whose impact on the world is immeasurable. Born in Russia, Kuznetsov's journey into the realm of literature began with his internationally acclaimed novel, Bobby Yar, a document in the form of a novel. This powerful book, originally published in a censored form in 1966, vividly describes Kuznetsov's own experiences in German-occupied Kiev during World War II. Bobby Yar, a document in the form of a novel, is a deeply moving account that exposes the horrors and atrocities committed during the war. Kuznetsov's words paint a haunting picture of the brutal reality faced by the people of Kiev under German occupation. The book captures the pain, fear, and resilience of the individuals who lived through this dark period in history. Kuznetsov's novel gained international recognition for its profound significance in the field of literature. It serves as a powerful reminder of the atrocities of war and the importance of preserving the memory of those who suffered. Kuznetsov's work not only sheds light on the past but also serves as a call to action, urging us to strive for a better future and to ensure that such horrors are never repeated. Anatoly Vasilievich Kuznetsov's life and legacy are a testament to the power of storytelling and its ability to shed light on the darkest corners of history. His work serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of empathy, understanding, and remembrance. Kuznetsov's contribution to literature will forever hold a place in our collective memory, reminding us of the profound impact that a single voice can have on the world. Anatoly Kuznetsov, born to a Russian father and a Ukrainian mother, grew up in the Kiev district of Kurinivka, near the infamous Babi Yar ravine. At the age of 14, he began documenting the horrors of the Babi Yar massacre, prompted by his mother's advice to save them for a future book. Before pursuing a writing career, Kuznetsov explored various artistic endeavors and worked in different fields. In 1955, he joined the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and later enrolled at the Maxim Gorky Literature Institute to study writing. In 1957, his novella called Sequel to a Legend was published in the literary magazine Yunost. Although it was initially rejected, a heavily censored version was eventually published without Kuznetsov's approval, bringing him nationwide recognition. He graduated in 1960 and became a member of the USSR Union of Writers, solidifying his place as one of the country's most talented writers. In 1966, Kuznetsov's novel, Bobby Yar, was published in Yunost, revealing previously unknown details about the execution of thousands of Jews in the Bobby Yar ravine in 1941. The uncensored work was highly critical of the Soviet regime and posed challenges during its creation. Kuznetsov even had to temporarily step away from the project due to overwhelming nightmares. Despite the difficulties, Bobby Yar became a significant literary achievement for Kuznetsov, shedding light on a tragic event and its implications. However, a shortened version of the novel was later published without his permission in 1967, further complicating his relationship with censorship and the authorities. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.